Hello everyone, I am Precious and in this class we are going to look at the concept of uh, basic operations in number system and so we will see how to add and subtract in number system, uh, different number bases, how to multiply and divide number bases, how to find unknown base, uh, a number is given in a particular unknown base and we are going to do that using the knowledge of this addition and other basic operations right so these are the keywords that we're going to you know see often in this class okay so i uh, will begin with addition of uh, number basis so addition in number basis we'll have the first example is asking us to add these two numbers in base eight and so we arrange it just like we used to arrange numbers when we add in base 10 and so we begin if we have in base 8, yeah, we add 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 3, sorry, 6 plus 3 is 9. Now, recall when you are in base 10, if you add two numbers and it's more than 10, you would usually record, for instance, if you add 8 and uh, 5 and you get 13, you usually record 3 and carry 1. So, in this case, once it's more than the base, you divide by the base, carry your quotient, and then write your remainder. So I have 9 here, I'll divide by 8, and that is going to give me um, 1, 1, remainder 1. So I'll write 1 and then carry the 1. So I'm writing the remainder and carrying what I got. So now, 1 plus 7 plus 5 is going to give us 13. You divide by 8, and that will give you 1, 1, remainder 5. So you record 5 and carry 1. And then this 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 is 7, and so... Since you are in base 8, 7 is less than 8, so you record it. And so this is our solution for here. And then for example 2, we are asked to evaluate. In this case, we have three numbers. So you are rich, the three of them. And so you here you are going to add. If you have uh, 5 plus 6 plus this is going to give you 15. This is in base 7. So you divide 15 by 7. You are going to have 2 remainder 1. And so now you add the whole of this, which is the 9. When you divide by 7, you are going to get 1 remainder 2. And so you add this, which will give you 7. You divide by 7, 6 is up to 7, and that will give you 1 remainder 0. And so you bring down this one, and which is uh, the solution to this one. And that's why we have this. So we go over to subtraction in number basis. And so we have the first example here. We arrange the, like our normal subtraction. Now, in subtraction, you have to be careful. Now, the only difference here is that in borrowing, for instance, 0 minus 1 cannot go. So I'm going to borrow 1 from here, and I will have 0. And when that 1 comes here, recall that when you are in base 10, if you borrow 1, it becomes 10. And so if you are in base 2, if you borrow 1, it becomes 2. If you are in base anything, whenever you borrow during subtraction, it becomes that base you are performing that operation. So we are going to have 2 here. And so 2 minus 1 now is now going to give us uh, our 1 here. And then 0 minus 0 is 0. This is 0. I'm bringing down 1 here. And that's the solution to this problem. So for the second example under subtraction, you will have this. 2 minus 2 is 0. Minus 1 is 1, two, 3 minus 1 is 2, and that is our solution. So we go to multiplication of uh, numbers in number basis. So look at what we have here as the first example. We arrange them like our normal multiplication, and then we begin with the first one. When one multiplies the whole of this, you will get this. The same one multiply, you have this, and one multiply again, you have this. Always remember to arrange under the place value that you multiply, just like our multiplication in base 10. And so, and after that, the next thing is to add what you have gotten. And so here we are going to bring down 1 here. And so, and when we do that, you are going to have 1. And then the next one is uh, you are going to now add this 1 plus 1, which is 2. And since we are in base 2, we divide by 2. And when you divide by 2, you will have 1 remainder 0. So you record the remainder and carry the other 1. And so 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. And when you now divide by 3 by 2, you have 1 remainder 1. So you record the 1 and carry the other. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 again. 
which is one remainder one, and then this is two, which is zero, uh, one remainder zero, and then this is two, one remainder zero again, and then you bring down this one. And that's how we have this solution here. And so for the next, which is this, and so for the next one, we're also multiplying this in base five now. So we multiply two times four is equal to eight. But recall that you are in base five and you can record eight. So just as what we did here, you divide eight by five, which will give you one remainder three. And so in essence, what you are going to record is three. And then what will you do? You will carry the one to this place. Then two times zero is zero. And so plus this one, that's how you have this. And then two times two is four. And in the next step, your three here is going to multiply four, which is going to give us 12. And then, of course, this is base five. 12 divided by five, you are going to have two, two, remainder um, two. So you'll carry two here. Sorry, this is where you multiplied, not here. So you carry the two to this place. This is the one we multiplied and then record the remainder. And then the same three will multiply zero, which is zero plus these two that you brought over. And that's how we have these two here. Then three times two here is six and is in base five. So we divide six by five, which will give us one remainder one. So we record the one and carry over the one, which is what we dropped here. And so, and that's how we got this. And then the next thing is to add what we have. So three, we bring it down. This is three also. And this one is six. So you divide it like this and you have one remainder one. You carry it here, which is two. And you bring it down and then this one. And that is our solution. So we go over to division of numbers in number basis. So here now we have uh, four ones. That's one, 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 one divided by one, one. So how do we do division? The way to go, first of all, is to, you are going to use the whole of your divisor. So we use the whole of 11 here and divide each digit. And when it doesn't divide it, we record zero. So 11 divide one is zero, it can't go, we record zero. And then we now try the next two digits. And so 11 divide 11, of course it can go. And now when you are in base two, once it can go, just record one. And then multiply and check if there is a remainder. And so if I multiply 1 by this, this will give me 11. And so I try to check if there is a remainder. And of course, you are going to get 0, 0 here. Now, you will bring down the 1. When you try to divide, if it doesn't go, you are down. You will record 0. And then bring down the remaining 1. And now we have 11. And of course, when 11 divides it, it can go. So we record 1. And then when we multiply, please, this is an error here. There should be 11 here. When 1 multiplies this 11, you will have 11. And when you subtract, you are now going to get these zeros that we have here. And finally, this becomes your solution. Of course, you are not going to record this because it is 0. And then the next one here, we are dividing this in base 6. Now, remember I said this in base 2. Now, what if it is now in another base? What do you do? The same thing. You divide 1 by 2, 5. It can't go. You record 0. Then you join these two. 2, 5 cannot also divide this. You record another 0. When you join these three, 2, 5 can go. But unlike in base 2, you are not going to record 1. You will check what exactly is going to give you. And how we are going to get that is through multiplication. So we are going to know the number of 25, sorry, number of 25 you have in 133 under base 6. So I will first of all try to multiply it by 2. If I multiply by 2 in base 6, this is going to be 10. So, and I will reduce it to base 6. If I divide by 6, I will have 1 remainder 4. So I will record 4 here, carry 1. If I now multiply here, I am going to have 4 plus this one, that's 54. So 25 times 2 in base 6 is 54. That means it is not up to this. So let me multiply by 3 now. And then when I multiply this by 3, I'm going to have this is 15. When you reduce it to base 6, you have 3. That's 2, 2 remainder 3. Then this time this is 6 plus 2 is 8. And so when you reduce it, you have 1, 1 remainder 2. When you carry over that one here, you have 1, 2, 3. 
and of course that's the closest here if you multiply by 4 it will be more than this so, so that means if we divide by 2 5 we are going to get 3 and then we'll now check what the remainder is going to be so that means this multiply this will give us this 1 2 3 and that's what we got here and so we'll now do the subtraction so 3 minus 3 is 0 3 minus 2 is 1 of course this will give us 0 now 25 cannot divide this 10 and we can't record 0 because we didn't bring down anything so this is now when we will now bring down something so if we bring down this 0 here we now try it of course 25 can go and initially we have gotten that when you have 2 it will give you 54 so we'll record 2 of course if you try by 3 it will now be more than the 100 and so we'll record 2 and then multiply when we multiply we'll get our 54 here and when we now subtract so if we subtract here 0 minus 4 it cannot go so just like what i told you about subtraction i i suppose to borrow from here but there is nothing here so i'll come i'll come all the way to this point if i borrow this one i will be left with zero and so i'll bring it here remember we are in base six and so like i said when it comes here it should be six but i need to borrow to this place and so if i borrow one from that six i will have five left and when that one comes here it also becomes six and so 6 minus 4 will give me 2 and 5 minus 5 is 0. And so of course 25 cannot divide 2 but I can record 0. So I'll bring because I've not brought down anything. So I'll bring down 5 now. And 25 dividing this 25 will give me 1. And of course when I now do 20, um, 1 times 25 I'll have 25. And when you subtract you will have 0. And uh, uh, that means your solution of course you cancel this. And so your solution is 3, 2, 1 in base 6. And so that's about division. And now we have some word problems under number basis. There are about uh, four examples I listed here. But I'm just going to do one of it and I'll guide you on how to do the rest. Now look at this. This is asking you to find the value of y in base 10 that will be subtracted from this to give this. So all you need to do here is take this to this side and take this one to this side and then do this subtraction after you do it in base 2 whatever you have convert it to base 10 that is the solution or the value of y and so i'm going to do only example 2 in this particular stage here so what do we do here they are asking us to find the value of x which is an unknown base and so how do we do that very simple take everything to base 10 and then solve for x so i'm going to take my left hand side to base 10 and how do i do that just do the expansion call what we said here that you are going to number this of course this is zero this is one this is zero this is one so i pick the first digit and then i multiply by the base which is x raise it to the power of its position and that is one plus pick the next second digit and multiply by base which is x raised to the power of 0 equal to do the same here and we'll have this and then what is next you simplify x raised to the power 1 is x and then multiply by 3 you have 3x of course this is 1 times 4 is 4 then this is 6 times 4 is 24 this is 1 times 4 is 4 plus 24 and that's how we got this 28 and then we solve take this to this side you will have 28 minus 4 which is 24 divide both sides by x sorry by 3 and you will get 8 as the value of your x and so like i said the rest of the examples here are just similar so for this you are looking for the value of x here sorry n here what this means is that you should convert this from base 5 to base 6 and so whatever you have here as your n becomes sorry whatever you will get here in base 6 becomes a value of your n and what about this one just like what we did here take this to base 10 take this to base 10 and then uh, and when you finally do that take this one to this side and subtract it from this and then whatever you have as the coefficient of x when you take this to base 10 it will now look like something like this and so whatever you have as the coefficient of x use it to divide what you have from this subtraction and that will give you the value of x and this is where we're going to end it for this class now recall that our objectives were from the beginning to add and subtract numbers in different number bases multiply and divide number bases and how to find or solve equations 
on the number basis. All right, so if you have any question, always feel free to send in your questions. We'll see you in our next class. Bye.